Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Basico Service Not Learning. So in this video, we are going to talk about principal CI class in ServiceNow CMDB. We will implement use case scenario to explore principal class concept fully and in detail. We will also talk about interview questions, which basically related to principal CI class. In this video, we will also talk about sys properties which leverage this functionality and the table where we can see what all classes are marked as principal class. So let's navigate to ServiceNow instance and explore this why it is required and how we can configure the same. So friends, this is my ServiceNow personal development instance. So let me give you a brief first and then we can implement the use case scenario and understand the required topics right so let's type incident over here click on create new so in incident form see we have a field called configuration item so the same field is also available in problem table it is also available in change table so the principal ci class whatever configuration we are going to do will be applicable in incident change and problem in all the three tables okay so here when I click on this magnifying glass, see all the CIs which are active basically displayed in this window, right? So the use case scenario which we are going to implement today is related to the same because it is displaying us 2737 CIs, which is a personal development instance. So there can be a possibility that there can be like thousands of CIs are there. So it's not required to display all the CIs to incident operators, right? So for that principal CI class comes into picture that we can configure the same and limit the specific CI classes availability to incident operators. Okay, so let's see what is the use case scenario which we are going to implement today. So the use case scenario is that configuration item field in incident change and problem form should only display CI related to printer and business application class means only CIs which belongs to printer and business application class should be displayed in this configuration item field not all the CIs okay so this is the requirement or the use case which we are going to implement today so how we can implement it and what is the importance of principal CI class and we will also talk about the interview questions and the properties so for that what we have to do we have to type CI class manager let's open this in another window click on open hierarchy so ci class manager i believe you all knows right it displays all the classes what we have in cmdb so here let's say as per use case what we have to do we have to make printer and business application class as in principal class right so we can type printer over here see here in printer see click on printer in basic info, see we have a basic information of a particular class where display name is printer and see here we have this particular checkbox. From here we can make a particular class as principal. There is one thing to remember, if none of the class is marked as principal, means zero principal class, then what happen? All the configuration item will be displayed under this window when user click on this configuration item field so this can be a interview question which interviewer ask let's say he will be saying that when none of the class is principal then what all cis will be displayed under the window okay so what i will be doing i will be checking this checkbox and clicking on save so which says that i am creating a printer as a principal class as per the use case now so now reload the window and then click in the magnifying glass so see it is only displaying me 28 cis now earlier it was displaying me 2700 something cis right now here it is displaying me only 28 cis okay so in this way principal ci class checkbox is helpful and we can make a particular class as a principal class so i believe the what we have mentioned in the use case scenario we have fulfilled the same right the another class is business application class so let's search the same go to the ci model 
let click on hierarchy type business application see this business application does not contain any ci okay and here we have checkbox so if we are marking it as principal class so it will not show its CIs over there because it does not contain any CI in it right but let's save it so here if we check the printer one just for understanding see here in printer it was displaying 28 to us see but for business application class we don't have a count so let's refresh this page again see here if we do go to configuration item so it is displaying as 28 CIs which is there in the printer but in business application class we have zero CIs so the count is 28 plus 0 is 28 so because of that 28 is displaying over here right so in this way as per the use case if there is a requirement where the specific class needs to be displayed in configuration item the same way you can configure it right so now there are some other things which we have to focus on that where we can see what all classes are marked as principal so there is a specific table that is cmdb class information or we can also type the name over here the name is cmdb sorry cmdb underscore class underscore info dot list see here when we open this particular filter or the class see here it is showing us that these two classes are principal classes okay if we are creating any of the class or unchecking any of the class as a principal class then what will happen go to ci model let's uh, go to business application okay And uncheck this checkbox save it let's again navigate to that table refresh it see now it is displaying that this particular class is false as in principal class and this one is true right so in this way we can see that what all classes are principal and what all classes were principal earlier and now it is false okay so just for an example let's say if I delete any of the record from here see let's open the printer class and delete it so what will happen automatically that printer principal class will become false okay so let me navigate to ci model go to hierarchy type printer here open printer see this particular checkbox get unchecked so there are two ways the first way that you can navigate to the particular class so from there you can uncheck the principal class checkbox and save it or either you can navigate to this table and from here you can make it as false or you if you are deleting the particular record then also the principal class will be marked as false so let's navigate to incident again open the configuration item see now it is again displaying as 2737 records because we don't have any of the principal class as true in this particular filter right it means all the CIs will be displaying over there in incident change and problem forms right so now the another topic is that is sys properties that what is the sys properties which is basically leveraging this functionality okay so what we can do here just to see that we have to type sys underscore properties dot list and the property name is type principal just for a short form so this is the property com dot snc dot task dot principal underscore class underscore filter okay open this property so this will be showing us 
the description that lists comma separated values of all the task type where the principal class filter will be applied on the configuration item see here these are the basically task type where principal class filter will be applied means whatever property whatever class we are creating as principal that will be applicable on these tables so i believe this is also configurable so as per the requirement it can be done right so i believe now you have a idea that what basically principal class ci is how to configure it where we can see what all principal class are marked as check right and which system property leveraging this functionality so these are basic questions which can also be asked in interview even though the use case scenario which we have implemented given you all the understanding of the required topic so friends, this is all for this video. So I will share the link in the description where I will post all the content which I have shown in this video. Okay. If this video is helpful for you, then please like at least. And if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel. That is Basic Course Service Now Learning. Thank you friends. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.